I mean that one trick wombo combo could still work out quite well for 3D Max. We'll have to see. Here they are, spawned on the left side as the blue team on Blackheart's Bay. They are 3D Max with Nickers on Tychus, Zaiku playing ETC, Zoltro playing Tesla, and Leo from Korea on Brightwing. Their opponents on the right side in the red trunks, they are Team Alternate with Rymac on Uther, Tesla playing played by Guccio and the party lane, Gluehammer on Vala, Mopsio playing. Oh, that's an amazing skin here. Mopsio playing Arthas and Vasiliano playing Murden. Wow, they're really spawning these really nice skins. Mind game draft for the stitches ban. Hmm. Team 3 wins always. Terra was a ban pick, so they could have Zero to away. I was kind of surprised that um, Alternate didn't go for stitches then, but. Uh, they're waiting for the pickup on ADRD. He's putting down a lot of mines, which should keep him safe, but Aziano and Mopsio are seeing this. And I think that. They should have realized now that they are they have a triple stack up. There's the root on ADRD, but it's not gonna be enough. There's a pushback. He stays safe. So we might have to see a rotation down here. But Blue Emma is just keeping ADR key occupied, which means bottom chest goes to complete control for alternate. And wait, give me a sec. Okay. Now the overlay should be fine. Oh, Zeratul was picked off. Nice pickup. That's first blood going to Team Alternate. And ETC needs to watch out here as well. Tesla could come in from top, but nope, that's not gonna happen. Guccio needs to stay safe here. Has to watch out a little bit since uh, Nickers and Leo from Korea are also in position. And we see another rotation coming down to bot lane. Oh, ADRD barely missing that route. This is still a dangerous bot lane. And this is why we're seeing a rotation. Zero two will come join ADRD, and this is gonna help out a little bit here. Turn in comes out of alternate. No, they're trying to turn this around, going for going for a few of these doubloons. And Zoltro comes in, scouts this out, but he can't do anything by himself. So that's a nice and safe pickup here for alternate. Uh, the other lanes, we have Leo from Korea going up against Uther. Tesla, of course, is staying, sticking in that mid lane. Ooh, Zaiku! Nope. Good face shift for Guccio. Let's check out the talent choices. Zeratu is going for Cleave and Gathering Power. Then we have the Overkill build on Tychus. ETC going for Block and Echo Paddle to um, give him a little bit of damage after using an ability. And we have Bribe on Brightwing, Protective Shield also taken, and Regen Master for uh, Sergeant Hammer. Okay, this is interesting. I've not seen that all that often. And that's Alternate going for the first Barrage here. Ooh, Kuchugi being pushed back, but he has Rymek to heal himself back up, and he has a few shields available as well. And now everyone is coming in. There comes that route onto Zaiku, but they're going straight for Nickers. Good polymorph onto Rymek. Can he block Nickers for long enough? Nope, a nice grenade stops him there. Vaziano could jump in. Nope, they're not risking anything here. That would be too close to the wall, too close to the fort. So they're staying back. Multishot build is up for Vala, and there's a sledgehammer. Um, so Stormbolt build for Murden. And they're gonna go for another turn in here. So far, map objectives being really uh, under control for Team Alternate. They're even stealing these seed shines. Nice move. Meanwhile, Vala is still pushing the bot lane. Zolto is kind of low, so he can't really go out. And he's not gonna contest these siege camps either. And level 7 talents are coming in on their side. So Cleave is being, being boosted here by Zeratul. Then Guitar Hero, or ETC. So that's an instant attack after a basic uh, after using the guitar solo, and also a little bit of healing coming in, and then double first aid on Sergeant Hammer and Tychus, and cleanse of course for Brightwing. Oh, um, sorry, uh, I did forget to drop that tab for you. 
There was Tempest, here it goes. And well alternate has a little bit of an a little bit of an advantage as far as levels are concerned. They're gonna get another five doubloons here. I don't think that Nickers and ETC can do anything about this. Baviziano, Mopsio and Bluehammer down there are uh, just way too strong. And maybe they can even contest a few coins in top lane. Lucio, oh, he wanted to go for that steal, but now they're all coming in. Let's see if we're gonna have a big fight here. Oh, nice pickup on Tesla by Zoltro. Now they need to watch out. There's a jump by Vasiliano. He will get away, and Mopsio can deal can deal with a little bit of damage. But a nice little pickup here for Zeratul. And Murden still sticking around. He's a little bit ballsy here in this mid lane, but now the glue hammer's coming in. Oh nope. Root misses. And ADRD caught out of position, but he can boost away. Oh nice jump. Vasiliano getting right on top of ADRD. They're missing that root. So this is not gonna work. Let's see how many coins they have. Ooh, Vasiliano's. Yes, he's up to nine coins. He really needs to watch out. This could be a turnaround for 3D Max if they catch him off guard and get a kill here. Good polymorph on Tunopsio, they missed that Q, but Zoltro jumps in, and that should be the kill. Yep, that's the kill on Arthas, and a good Void Prism here on the right side. Actually helped out a little bit for Team Alternate. At least they saved all the remaining heroes, and Vaziano is still alive. And they will go for those Bruisers. That's a really interesting avatar. And they will go and grab those bruises without taking too much damage. And that's gonna put a little bit of pressure on the top lane, but they already have ADRD in position to uh, stop these bruises right in their tracks. And this is the first barrage going to Team 3D Max. And they might get a pickup on this fort, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. It's six, uh, six shots, which I think just barely doesn't kill it or barely kills it. Nope, doesn't kill it, since it still had to take out the uh, mana well. Alright, um, so yeah, no surprises on on the heroics. We have Emerald Wind taken by Brightwing. Oh, and Stray for Vala, so that's maybe a little bit of a surprise. Let's see, let's see if she can pull it off and is not interrupted. Meet Meantime, 3D Max actually a little bit ahead in levels now. Oh, alternate, they want to force a team fight here at this siege camp. Vaziano going in strong. And they might go for a steal. Zoltro is there. But Face Prism not quite up yet. Still need to watch out Zaiku in the route. But there's that Void Prism. Nice job. Luhemma should probably jump in there, but nope. She gets away and they all retreat. Nice idea. Uther wasn't in that fight and they really need the Divine Storm if they want to make something big happen. So instead going for safe coins on the other side, not forcing anything. And same thing happening here by 3D Max. Let's see when they're gonna clash again. Uther could be jumped by Tassel pretty soon. And that would mean that ADRD would have to move back here. They could finally push that top lane in a little bit. I was the only one that was uh, under solid control for 3D Max almost the entire game so far. And this should be a turn in here for Team Alternate. We already have a lot of coins, not quite enough for that next barrage. But nope, Leo from Korea is completely caught out. Can they root him down? Yes they can, there's that takedown. Nice little kill, two kills on both sides so far. Now with the Seed Shines, they can uh, push this pretty strong, but only Val is staying there. Gonna make a rotation towards that boss. And that is a little bit of trouble coming into Nickers and ADRD. And completely out of position. Tesla's gonna try to stay, stay safe on the right side there. And there's a jump onto Nickers. Bruises are coming in. This is gonna help out a little bit, but a good storm and body block. There's the shrink on Nickers. He goes down so quickly. And they can deal with those bruises in the meantime, then go for the boss afterwards. What a great timing here for Alternate. And that gives them control of the watchtower again, gives them a little bit of map vision, but they're not even going for the boss. They don't feel that they have enough of a match to take that boss safely, and the chests are coming up again. So, good timing, they're gonna go for those chests, go for more coins, and then we'll make another turn-in happen 
And that's the same thing. <laughs> wow, that's the same thing that 3D Max is going for right now. Blue Hammer moving in. ADRD. Ooh, Blue Hammer. He caught out of position there by Holo. Uh, by Zoltro. And a good route by Leo Camperio gets away and Void Prisms all of them. Glue Hammer needs to get out of that fight and that should spell doom here for Alternate. They should get away. A nice Marsh Pit and Rymake will fall here. Can he make something happen? His Divine Storm is still available. He should have used that for, for defense but I think Marsh Pit just came in too soon. And 3D Max with a nice team fight there. Definite win. Just got the pick up on Uther but that was still an amazing team fight. But alternate, not retreating too far, still going for coins, they still have a lot of coins left. Mopsio needs to watch out, he has, he's carrying 9. 9 and 6, they have a lot of coins. Oh, ADRD, you're in trouble now. They're not going for the full chase here, since Uther is gone, they're kind of scared of that next team fight. 4v5 would not be a good idea at this position. Well, that's also a little bit risky. Bruiser Camp is coming up now. But they know that 3D Max is just waiting for them to make this move. They have so much DPS, they can just kill it right off the bat and get away before anything bad happens. Next Barrage was pretty much free for 3D Max. So they um, can go for the fort now. They want to push this hard. I mean, they're already in bot lane dealing with the Bruisers, so they might as well just push that fort. At the same time, alternate, going for that bruiser camp on top, and maybe even tagging that boss. 3D Max is realizing this now, and they might have to move up. They're level up, they have that level 16 talents available, and they're going for triple stone, stone skin. Oh no, double stone skin and critter eyes, never mind. And mine build for Sergeant Hammer. And wormhole double bombs, regular build uh, for Zeratul. Yeah, Alternate is not risking all that much. Uh, they thought about taking the boss, but realized, okay, um, 3D Max, they're getting back into position. They don't have too many heroes down there anymore, and we could just go for safe coins, save doubloons, pay up, and get our next barrage going. And this should kill the top fort and do some decent damage down here. It's one tower, one mana well remaining. I'm not quite gonna get that kill just yet, but definitely it's definitely gonna fall quite low and they're at least contesting this boss they're still trying to jump in doing a little bit of damage and jumping immediately back out of there but alternate they're just going for those save coins for now almost have that next barrage um, safe in the bank since Mopsio is still carrying five Boomer is carrying five and well another two and two so that's not bad at all. 14 coins. I think they need 16 for the next one. Yep. So they almost have that ready. Nice route onto Zyko and ADRD, but no follow-up. And they're just getting out of that fight. Just waiting for the heroics to pop. Oh, Mopsio. A little bit in the middle here between all of these forts. And 3D Max are just trying to push them back. Maybe get them far away from the boss so they can actually engage it, but that would be extremely risky. Hey, ideally they want to get a kill on Glue Hammer, so they can steal a few coins. They already have enough coins to make a turn and happen. No, not quite. They, if they would get Glue Hammer, that would be enough. Oh, those mines! They're chasing. They're chasing. <laughs> nice mine trap set here by ADRD. And there's Soldier jumping in. Alternate is doing a really good job not clumping up all too much, so um, they would stay safe versus those Void Prisms. And, yeah, again, going for safe doubloons. I mean, that's a little bit risky. They already have enough doubloons to make that turn-in happen, and now it's going to be boss versus next turn-in. So... Oh, by the way, the bottom four did go down. So they already took that out, that means the next barrage will actually hit, uh, will actually do some damage on the keeps. And it's happening now. And we'll have to go back into top lane to stop the boss finally. It's about time, everyone's heart's zoning back and they want to stop him before he reaches the gate. So you kind of want to force him to do that stomp move. Ah, uh, well, he's doing it in range of the gates anyways. Got there a little bit too late. 
But still, they're gonna take him down uh, quite easily. Greedy Max not even trying to help his help their boss out. Which I think is the right move at this point. I mean, they want to turn him there to balloons, and this was the perfect spot to do it. And both teams almost even in levels again. Yeah, they couldn't stop this turn in. Maybe they can get Zaiku, he's still turning in, and he has 17 coins, that would be an amazing pickup for Alternate. But nope, he's gonna get away, he's mounted up. Where's that root? Where's that root coming in? Zaiku? Nope, he can get away. Now they're kind of clumping up down there. Sotro is just waiting for his Void Prison. Mobs are already quite low, but he's getting quite a few heals. And there's this Divine Storm, Zaiku being pushed back. They're trying to focus him down, but everyone's just running straight into the Void Prison. Zaiku will drop here, great move, and that's a lot of coins going over to alternate, but Leo from Korea, he's incredibly low, they're trying to chase him off. ADRD also caught out of position, can they get another stun lock? Yes, they can, Sergeant Hammer goes down, and that's two for nil, and a lot of coins in the bank. So that's the next turn in here for alternate, they're even stealing these siege camps. So siege camp, more doubloons, and the siege shines that are gonna help out at the wall. This is gonna be a really strong push. 30 second cooldown for ETC to make a comeback. And it's only Glue and Mopsy staying back. I like this. They're gonna grab up a few more coins. And oh, Zoltro. He wanted to stop this turn in, but that's not happening. Not versus a complete team alternate. And there's a turn in. And Hearthstone back to deal with the bruisers. Good job by 3D Max to go for those bruisers in the meantime. Kind of force that recall. But still, now it's Siege Shines and Bruises in bot lane, and the next Barrage is coming in. And this one will keep, will get that keep down. Do a little bit of damage uh, on the bot keep, I think. And yeah, Alternate just doing this all for free. No, Top Keep will be first. Top Keep will be first. 3D Max has to go back now, has to defend everything. It's just more and more doubloons. Alternate just knows how to play Blackheart's Bay. It's all about the doubloons. Something you didn't see in our viewer games. I mean, we did a little bit of doubloons, but they're just focusing on doubloons. Trying to avoid team fights altogether unless they have... They somehow get the edge. And just go for those doubloons, go for the bruisers, go for the siege giants. And the only thing they missed so far was that one boss... That one boss. Next one will be up uh, in a little bit here. But I think they're just gathering up more coins so far. <laughs> 38 taken by Mirrodin. <laughs> That's insane. And do they have enough? Not quite enough for the next one. Oh yeah, actually, it's only uh, only four more. Wait, am I counting this right? Four more, I think, yeah. So maybe they can just go for another doubloon camp. Up top, I think two should still be available. I like the mine placements by ADRD. Always going for those mine placements all over the map. Making those chase off really, really stressful. There's a turn in. Ry Rymac guarding the left side there. Makes it uh, pretty hard for them to get in. Level 20 is available now and will be soon for 3D Max, so they could try to force a fight here. This is why Alternate is trying to force this. Come on, try to come in from the left side here. Mopsio wants to go for a route onto ADRD. There's the jump on top of him. First aid coming in. There's Divine Hurricane just doing so much. And Leo from Korea completely singled out. Blue Hammer. Uh, <laughs> it's the only one caught in that Void Prison. And they're just trying to push this ADRD incredibly low again. Nickers still in the Odin form. Still, they're just trying to focus Nickers down for now. And he drops out of the Odin. Rymek is kind of low, he will go down here, but they're focusing Zaiku now. Once Zaiku falls, this could all fall apart. Zoltro trying to jump back in there. They will go for the keep now. I don't think they're gonna chase this too hard, but still. What an amazing fight here for Alternate. Only losing Uther and getting this keep. Really, really good fight. And now they're in an excellent position to just grab more coins and go for the next barrage, which will kill that bottom keep. Oh no, not really. Thought the Giants did a little bit more damage earlier on. They already have 16 coins, they're gonna grab another 10 here. And, well, I think they should have enough heroes up to go for the turn in, but maybe they're not risking anything. Void Prison won't be up for another 35 seconds. But they only have 
They only have Strafe and Divine Hurricane up. And uh, I think this might actually be... Um, might be a display error, I'm not sure. And there's a turn-in. It's a free turn-in, and once again, 3D Max, they're trying to go for the boss. Nope. Heartstoning back. We're too scared of that uh, of that backdoor attempt that could have come out of alternate, and now they're in a perfect spot to go for the boss. They have a little bit of time before they get there, if they're just gonna push out all the damage they can. Oh, checking the boss. They're not even going for it. Okay, interesting. Maybe they're just gonna wait for 3D Max to go in there and then surprise him. Nope, just going for coins. They're totally avoiding all team fights. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's weird. Did he use the big red? Uh, did he use the Odin form already? Okay, this is pretty perfect for 3D Max uh, for alternate. They need to use this now. Um, okay, Void Prison getting Rymac and Mopsio, and they pick off Mirrodin for free, basically. And that's a really good march, but Zoltro jumping in there. Rymac goes down, Mopsio completely out of position down here, and they catch him off for free. Yep. And that was a great pickup. They got so many coins out of that fight, and three heroes for zero. Really amazing fight here for 3D Max. Maybe this is their time to turn this game around. Gonna try to push this as hard as they can. Only Valor and Tesla remain. Not really the best heroes uh, to stop the entire team of 3D Max. And they already have Sea Giants down here. I think we might see them taking two more. Nope, they're just gonna push this as hard as they can. Go for the keep straight away. They're already catching up in experience. And if they get either Gloom or Tesla now, they might finish the game straight away. 14 seconds on to Muradin. Nice polymorph onto Gluehammer. Stopping that strafe. Uh, yeah, they're not gonna push this too hard. Muradin is about to be back. Arthas in about 14 seconds, so... They're not gonna risk it here. Not gonna risk their comeback. Over a little bit of a faster game. Yep, yeah, there's Muradin back. Arthas joining the fray again, and Uther is also back in action for alternate. Things have evened out now. But they still have so many coins to pick up over here. Uh, I think they just wanted to go for counter-aggression and completely forgot about the coins. Yeah, now they're going to pick them up. A little bit scared, because this is five coins. You don't want to give those to alternate for free. But now they need their entire team in here again. Uh, Vaziano's just waiting for this to happen. Oh, there's the Odin form. He might actually be here in time to stop them from taking the boss. Good route on to Zaiku. He's trying to jump in. Nope, they're just gonna completely forgo that boss. But a great Void Prism once again. Zoltro he might be winning in the game with these Void Prisms. Zaiku jumps in. Marsh Pit is interrupted. And maybe they can get the lockdown on Zaiku. No, it's not happening. Alternate just in full on retreat mode. They're gonna wait for that Odin to disappear. And once it's gone, they might make a turnaround happen. Go for Strafe, go for Divine Hurricane, and use that Army of the Dead. Not for now. Not for now. Wow, the Bruises are pushing this. They might need to react, but they don't want to give up the boss for free. Bruises will do some decent damage here. Might actually uh, get rid of the... Might get rid of the shields. Nope, not really. No team really wants to over-engage in this. So many mines to put down by ADRD there. Uh, we have Bolt of the Storm on both Zeratul and ETC. Interesting move by ETC, but that's gonna be a nice Marsh Pit combo. And only one Bolt of the Storm over here on Vala. Other than that, all the heroics have been improved for Alternate. And let's check how many coins each team have. Oh, Alternate only... They're down to four coins. Grab two more here, but that's still a far off way to go. Well, 3D Max, they have so many coins. They're ready for the next turn, and that's for sure. They all poured it back. I think they had to deal with uh, quite a few catapults there as well. <laughs> and alternate, already in position for more coins. At least they're grabbing these free coins. And there's Zoltro coming in, but darting back out again before anything bad happens. And that's an awful position for alternate. They need to get off that bridge. That's basically a death trap if you're 
you're caught out there in a void prison. And more coins. More coins being taken by Arthas. The remainder of the team is turning around. Ah, a few catapults already getting here. But so far they're just doing a little bit of shield damage. And oh, the boss. Three attempts on the boss so far. None actually carried out until the end. Beauty Max half a level ahead now. It doesn't matter all that much in these in these late game situations. Now it's it's all about the team fights and of course I mean for alternate they just need to kill off one more keep and then the next barrages will hit the core. That keep has almost full health. Well, no, actually, but in the meantime, siege giants have done some damage and ooh, blue hammer even going for these siege giants down here. So it's gonna be more siege giants next to that keep. Once the keep is gone, it's gonna be th catapults in three lanes. And that's gonna be hard to stop here for 3D Max. A few coins <laughs> still laying around. They um, didn't want to go for that. Didn't want to go for that chest while 3D Max was pushing with the boss. And it's like you porting back. They're all porting back, just dealing with these catapults. They lost their entire shield, so it's really a good idea to do, to do this. And boss will be stopped before it should kill the keep. And that's the final turn in here for 3D Max. Might do enough damage to kill this keep off. I mean, the boss did some damage. Oh, good shield here by Tesla. Oh, need that final shot here. And they need to move on. But that should be enough. Yep, Leo from Korea is going to finish the turn in. And with that, they will get the kill here on this keep. Only one tower and the keep to go. Alternate got there a little bit too late. And now all they have to do is uh, go for the bruisers. Neutral bruiser camp is the only thing they can go for now. And kill these siege giants off, of course. But And this should surely be a fight here for the bruisers, because everyone knows they're going for this now. BD Max getting into position here. Zoltro just waiting for his opportunity for another nice void prison. But alternate, they're not risking it. Zoltro jumping in. Everyone out of alternate so incredibly well spread out. I'm surprised that Zoltro is actually in the middle of all this. He should be at the edge and scouting out and then going for that void prism if, if the opportunity hits, but I just contempt with taking that taking that bruiser camp. Oh there's the root onto Zaiku. Probably not gonna focus him. And Nick has popped the Odin, so Alternate is just going to turn this around. Oh, there's the Void Prison, not to Gucci on Mopsio. Big red button goes down, but doesn't hit anyone. And Zaiku moving in, is interrupted. Gucci gets back. Was he on a pushback here as well? There's another big red button and a nice, nice Emerald win, keeping all of Alternate back, but they're on for the chase. And, well, it didn't really do all that much. No one goes down. Alternate will go for more more coins. How many coins do they have now? 12, 14, 17 coins. Just need five more to get that next barrage in. The turn in will come from 3D Max. And that's gonna be enough for the next barrage. And this time it's enough to kill, the, kill that keep finally. See, is there gonna be a contest? Oh jeez, Glue Hammer completely out of position. What a nice vault. Zoltro, can he get the kill? Nope, Glue Hammer is healed back up. That was extremely risky here by Vala. Oh, can they surprise him now? There's the Oracle. And Gucho, they're thinking about it. Thinking about going for the kill. And Zaiku, interrupted once again. Looks like they will go and take those bruises out before they do all that much. 3D Max, they're in pretty good control of this game right now. They have a level advantage by this time. And they're gonna go for the Sea Giants in, in the bot lane. The Bloons are gone at this camp. But they just made that next turn in. And they already have 7 coins on Zoltro. He needs to watch out a little bit. Should turn those in as soon as he can. And now they're just gonna push this as hard as they can. Another Sea Giant round, a couple of catapults down here. Top keep? Oh, it barely survived. Three, three more hits and it goes down. 
There's the Odin out of Knickers. And this might be enough. If they get a kill here onto one of these heroes like Mopsy. Oh, he's pushed back a great Emerald Wind out of Leo from Korea. And another amazing Void Prison. Rymik and Gluehammer completely caught out. Zoltro going for the kill here. And that Marsh Pit really helped out. But Rymik, he's solo trying to, with the Divine Storm. They will get the kill here. And that's two heroes down. Should be enough to just focus on the core. And yes, it will be. They're taking it out. What a comeback for 3D Max.